Well, I've been looking forward to this one, Adrian. It's the Kingston Derby here in the Diamond Jubilee Challenge Cup. Um, we're going to talk you through this one because lots of red and white on the picture here. But on the right-hand side of your picture, it oh gosh, and uh, on the left-hand side of your picture, we're just going to draw your attention on the Berkshire Station to Kingston Grammar School, who caught a boat-stopping crab there, Lola cramping in the three seat. Oh, what a shame there, as they were getting off to a great start, and um, their steering has just been really thrown by that, Adrian. Yeah, both crews have gone over to the left hand side here so really loads going on here and I hope when we come to see the side shot that the Kingston Grammar School haven't lost too much from the start but both these crews run the same stretch of river both both from either ends of the lock so that they rope they both quite a long way apart and here we go steering again Kingston Rowing Club heading straight to the other booms yeah, Kingston Rowing Club just being warned there towards their side on the Buckinghamshire station. They look to be back on track now. And wow, this is a huge comeback being mounted here by Kingston Grammar School in the background of your shot. They've managed to make up almost the length here, Adrian. Yeah, they, they, they're back on terms. You see, they've managed to find their rhythm despite the disruption of the crab. They've probably got an inch or more or so of stroke getting starting to row through the Kingston Rowing Club crew on the, the near side. Remember, we're catching up on these pictures of the start of this Diamond Jubilee Challenge Cup. And we said we'd keep you informed. It's Kingston Grammar School on the far side of the shot, Kingston Rowing Club on the near side of the shot. And so not only do they row on the same piece of water, not only are they both Kingston Rowing Clubs, so Kingston Rowing Club and Kingston Grammar School, but um, they also wear the same colours as well, Adrian. It doesn't get much more confusing yeah, than that. Yeah, it's going to be hard for those non people not partisan to know which crew's doing which. But on the far side, you can see... It's Kingston Rowing Club, who are, sorry, it's Kingston Grammar School on the far side, who've got themselves out now to about a canvas. So further later down the course, we're joining the race. And a good close up here of Kingston Grammar School. We've now moved out to lengthen a bit of clear water. Yeah, what a wonderful comeback from this crew. And uh, I'm amazed that uh, in the stroke seat, Alice Cassidy for. Kingston Grammar School, just 15 years of age and uh, taking on one of the most iconic courses in the world and to stay calm under pressure here, amazing. Oh, amazing, after the disruption of that crowd, quite easily have just panicked and fallen apart. But the, the composure they've shown just to, to down on the race, you know it's a very long race, just get back to what you do properly. Here the umpires with the white flag up, wind baton warning the crews to separate. You can see over there Kingston Rowing Club moving back towards their Buckinghamshire station on the left hand side. And here a picture of Kingston Rowing Club as they're going down the course. Yeah, the Kingston Rowing Club crew fresh off a fourth place finish in the winter season at the Junior Sculling Head that takes place at Dorney Lake. Um, about 20 minutes from here, really, Adrian, on the Olympic uh, regatta course. Uh, so great result there. But this KGS crew um, being coached by Beth Ann Thomas, who's just returned from maternity leave, having had her two boys, Freddie and Fraser. She'll be absolutely delighted with this, um, having just returned to coaching um, as a first result. And, and even if you know they don't maintain this lead down the rest of the course, anything can happen at Henley, as we've just seen. But um, to, to come back so uh, calmly from that crab off the start, she'll be absolutely chuffed with that. Yeah, yeah, you hope when they come off the water that she won't dwell on a mistake that everybody's caught a crab at some point, but they're just really just the fact that she had such great composure to realize you've got 2,000 meters to go, you're a length down, just take your time, row as fast as you can, and just see if that takes you through the other crew. And it's done that. And you can see here their rhythm's just a little bit more solid than the Kingston Rowing Club crew. And the Kingston Rowing Club would try to qualify for Women's Henley and was the fastest non-qualifier. So amazing that they've managed to get here and race here at the Royal Regatta just two weeks later. And a great view here at Kingston Grammar School. Yeah, they've all got matching caps, haven't they? And I, I apologise earlier, I said it was Alice Cassidy in the stroke scene. and I was completely wrong. So my apologies to Kingston Grammar School. I was actually talking about Audrey Causey in the stroke seat, uh, who is just 15 years of age. Um, 
So, yeah, a hugely competent performance. Alice Cassidy in the bow seat. She's the club captain this year um, of KGS. And a just quick, a quick look round from her to her right-hand side. She'll be looking back at the stewards' enclosure and telling her crew that they are close to entering the finishing stretches of this race. And she's also steering this crew. She's done a fantastic job of that too, yes, Yeah, she's kept her composure despite Kings of Rome coming from bearing down on her. She's kept her on her station and kept away from the booms. And really... A, a, they should take a lot of confidence from this row that despite all the mishaps they've sculled properly and they've got themselves a good win and they're going to be racing tomorrow for the next round and good bragging rights there we said it was the kingston derby uh, and it will be kingston grammar school uh, that look to be victorious there in this diamond jubilee challenge cup Pete and uh, kingston Rowing club not far behind they'll be uh, Exhausted at putting in that effort to try and keep tabs, and there is the result. Uh, Kingston Grammar School officially beating Kingston Rowing Club in the Diamond Jubilee Challenge Cup.